Kings Paul. Hello and welcome to Zelda Speedruns. Tonight we have another Zelda 2 Randomizer Standard Tournament match. It is brackets time and we are bringing you two matches from the Losers Bracket Round 1. We have The Countess versus Schmitty and Fontu D2 versus Amazing Toaster. And it's going to be do or die for one person from each of these um, matchups. And I'm going to tell them to get ready. So um, I am joined tonight by Frico and Nightcrawler on commentary. How are you doing tonight, gentlemen? I'm doing pretty well. Oh, I'll let you know when I wake up. Okay. <laughs> Isn't there a song about that? Could be. <laughs> You got an hour and a half to write something. Okay, and they should be off soon, so I will um, send it off to oh, you too. Thank you very synchronizing. much. Synchronizing. Oh, Absolutely. well. <laughs> there we go. So, so yeah, with Fontu D2 versus Amazing Toaster, I think, um, you know, Fontu D2 is kind of the dark horse there. Uh, with the Countess versus Schmitty, I think it's a bit of a toss-up, actually. Uh, Countess might have a slight advantage. Well, looking at the seating, not that that uh, is really indicative of anything. Uh, the Countess was our seven seed and took uh, a loss up against, uh, let me see, Jay Coper in the second round. Uh, both were afforded a bye from the first round of the main bracket. And on the other side of the matchup, we have Amazing Toaster as the 8 seed against Fondue D2, the 19 seed. So, you know, seeds are what they are, but uh, we'll see how it all plays out. Yeah. So we've seen uh, P3 or P6. We don't know which one. Uh, Fonte D2 and Amazing Toast were dancing with the red iron knuckle from the statue and were rewarded after quite a bit of a sword strikes with just 50 GP. But uh, Shibidi's found Saria here, and so is Countess. They're pretty much neck and neck. It's well, funny. It, it gives them life, too, so I, I think uh, time well spent. Well, if they get life from it, sure. Well, not the spell life, but uh, they did get a uh, upgrade of uh, life two. It looks like as both Fondue D two and Amazing Toaster oh, yeah. are sitting on life level two, whereas the Countess and Schmitty, who are in a race against themselves, are both on one 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 still. So we got some hint digging, and, and the bot had to say that the cross is going to be in the west. So they're going to be a little bit disappointed by an item they find uh, in the overworld. Uh, it's possible that it's going to be uh, hammer blocked, but they're probably going to find that before they go east. However, you know, it's, it's if you're going to get the cross, you know, before the first time you go east is probably the right time to get it. They're getting the spell spell, uh, which can be quite useful early on if it's castable. Uh, 69. So they can't uh -huh. cast it yet. They're five away. But um, it's a fun word. To, it's a fun number to say. So, <laughs> sixty-nine yeah, magic. True. But uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, if they run across uh, the correct town, which uh, I'm going to defer to you on that one because I've still yet to do my homework <laughs> on the towns, aside from remembering which one's Old Casuto. Uh, there will be the spell spell area that opens up an item. Oh, uh, you mean New Casuto? Correct. <laughs> yeah. So they're, they're still away from that, and that could end up being uh, hammer blocked. There's a 50-50 chance on that one. Oh, cool. We got a 200-point pee bag in this um, forest tile. That's a good find, considering um, most of the forest tiles are just uh, forest encounters. Well, fun fact. Uh, it looked like uh, Fondu D2 found a, a hint to head east for the flute. Ah. Was that in a graveyard or something? or I believe it was in the town that Amazing Toaster is in right now. Oh, Raru? Yeah. And a 500-point payback for Schmitty. That's pretty nice. Uh, spending it on magic 
levels. Okay, spending on life levels, not so sure, but hey, he's going to be at uh, 2 2 3. Oh, you know, the thing about Schmidt is he he plays a game pretty similar to me. Um, he might be changing that because I know he's been practicing a lot lately. So uh, normally I could say, oh, this is what I would do, and Schmidt ends up doing it. <laughs> oh, this magic word will give you power the power what? to turn into a fairy. Which, you know, fairies aren't that powerful, but, uh, you know, it's not all about, you know, how much you can lift sometimes. Well, There's the power to become cars. very small and uh, fit through a keyhole, that's pretty oh, yeah. powerful in uh, the right circumstances. Yeah, but, I mean, if you think about it, let, let's say you had that power in real life and you, you ferried into, I don't know, Fort Knox or something, and then you were just stuck as a fairy because you hadn't crossed the screen yet. <laughs> like, yeah, Fort Knox is just one screen. That would be unfortunate if you, uh, you know, can't quite hit the screen transfer. But, uh... <laughs> I don't know how that would really work with the inventory. Uh, and speaking of the inventory, it looks like Schmitty and Amazing Toaster have both found the cross. Oh yeah, so that, that'll be nice when they head east, so uh, they can go... Uh, use, they can use a raft with a little bit more confidence. And but uh, they surely would have wanted... Correcting me that it was uh, the graveyard tile that... Mm -hmm. uh, had the old lady giving the hint about the flute. Yeah, uh, so that's pretty good. Amazing Toaster heading into his uh, heart container cave. I believe Countess has already gone through this one. Probably Schmini as well. So uh, this will be a nice reminder of what he picked up there, assuming he survives, uh, which hopefully he will. He's got a decent rhythm. It's just uh, very hard to predict when the red dyer is going to be throwing axes in the dark. Oh no, that was... Ugh, he was so close. Well, it looks like Fondue D2 followed in his footsteps uh, by taking that same death, so there's a little bit of parity here between Amazing Toaster and Fondue D2 with where they're at. Uh, and another one like that, and Amazing Toaster is going to be at the Northern Palace. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like Amazing Toasters just said, all right, uh, no thanks, I'm going to use Fairy, get myself through this screen. Oh, you know, he actually took a little bit of a risk there, staying at that same elevation. Okay, so that's where the pee bag was. Uh, he's going to hopefully save it up for attack, and then maybe get a uh, magic level, or another life level. I, I think at this point, you up an A. Yeah. Looks like Fontadita is going to try to walk out. If he has attack 3 and full life, I could probably kill that Red Dyer. Ooh, the Countess is... Taking just a walk past him. him. Fell down into a graveyard. And, uh... Looks like Schmitty Games has, uh... <clears throat> excuse me. Found a way to, uh... Unlock uh, the third direction of uh, Link's four-directional fighting abilities here. Yep. Uh, and that is going to help out immensely, pretty much everywhere in every way possible, because that's you, it's it's the Ginsu knife or or whatever of uh, Zelda Two. You need it, you need it to you know slice and dice and make julienne fries. Oh, just uh, you know, lifetime guarantee as well. You got to remember, it doesn't uh, you know the blade never does. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's totally true. Uh, Countess a little nervous right here. He just picked up a 100 point pee bag, and okay, yeah, he wants to get that other pee bag. Oh, it's just a 50. He was afraid he was going to get by the spider when he walked down if he uh, saved up his experience like that, so he, he spent it on a life level. Not a bad purchase. I, I say if you don't go above life four, uh, your, your leveling is still pretty good. Um, all right, well, I so think we saw that yesterday with uh, that particular race, but. Uh, right. It ended up kind of kind of similar runners in the same spot uh, level wise. So I, th I think one of them had one more level, but that was it. Yeah, it can be more dramatic than that, depending on how you how you do it. I mean, it, it didn't seem to impact that particular race, no. but you know, and maybe that you know, is the, how do we say, the 
the aberration more so than, you know, the normal circumstance. Looks like oh. Son of the U2's found another dungeon. Yeah, like, like an oil, an oil coated dungeon or something like that. Uh, it looks a little different on everyone else's screen, though. Um, yeah, so that's also three or six. So both three and six are on the uh, Western continent somewhere. Uh, Schmitty Smite Sprite is not new. Uh, he's been using that for a long time, Norinato. Uh, he made that, I don't know, like six or eight months ago, something like that. That's a slight edit of Link that adds a bit of comedy, a bit of levity. Oh, and here's the magic key. All right, so everyone's just getting what they need. Yeah, so fairy not good enough for you? How about Fairy and Magic Key? Yeah, it looks like Fondue D2 and Schmitty are both on their way to finding the Any Key, as well as the Countess who already has it. So, this might put Fondue D2 into a bit of an adv advantageous situation with Amazing Toaster. Um, maybe not, though. It looks like Amazing Toaster's uh, on the right track. Yeah, he's so picking looks... this up, too. So Ponte D2's, uh, he's doing pretty well so far against Amazing Toaster. And, uh, schmidt has been doing a lot of practicing. I think he was, uh, you know, he's a little intimidated by some of the racers here. Uh, of course, schmidt does have a lot of vanilla experience. Uh, but he's gotten into the randomizer in the last six months or so. Oh, or, I guess, or well, whatever. Like, let's say two months before he made that custom sprite, <laughs> whenever that was. Well, you know, one way or another, you know, maybe it's just you know, all right, I'm in the losers bracket. I got to tighten up my game to really make a run in this tournament. Uh, you know, is that, you know, ooh. Looks like uh, Hammer Time for the Countess. Yeah, and Schmitty has that one, too. So, I think the real difference maker is going to be what they do next. Uh, so Schmitty's checking out the uh, roadblock, and uh, that roadblock doesn't go anywhere, so it's not going to be very helpful. So, like, what are these guys doing next? They have Fairy. They don't have any other card spells. Um... I'm not sure where they're gonna go. I guess they gotta find the raft. It's it could be since they have uh, the all the door stuff that they need. It could actually be in Palace Three and Six, even though they don't have the glove. Well, we still have one more palace to find mm -hmm. on the Western Continent as well. That's so true. That is something to consider. Maybe it's an easy one, or no, maybe no. it's like you know, or it could be from Death know, Mountain two or five or you know. Uh, but if it's one, perhaps, uh, yeah, that's easy. Yeah. you know, go for it. The uh, two, uh, you could potentially get glove blocked, which, yeah, but at least have. they have, at least they have fairy to make that one, um, the lava room, uh, much easier without fairy or jump. It's a very hard, it's one of the harder jumps to make in the game if you're going, uh, from right to left. So they, there's only one potential hurdle for these guys, and that's the glove block for P2. I would actually be cool with uh, GP. Uh, sorry, not, not GP. <laughs> I'd be cool with P5. Well, it looks like Amazing Toaster's uh, getting a little bold here and going to dive a palace. Yeah, it's, that's probably the right call. It's P6, and he's wondering why I'm... No, P6, no. So he's going to try P3 next. Yeah, no thanks. Got to go. Bye. Uh, yeah, P6, well. it's got the same number. No, it's got like half of a, of a glove block more than P3 because there's a, a room you can drop into from one direction and you can get stuck there if it just happens to be in that direction. But uh, as far as full glove blocks, they both have the same number of full glove blocks. It's just P6 is a lot harder. It's got that extra like half glove block and yeah. And it can loop like like crazy with all the drops and everything. Well, it looks like Schmitty's uh, turning north and uh, gonna head into a palace. Which uh, no, debated no. Yeah, he's going for it. So looks like he's gonna get the bad news that uh, this is Palace Six, my friend. Uh, maybe <laughs> not uh, too interested in that one. 
So oh, these two guys are having very similar uh, approaches so far. Uh, Fontu D2 just checked out the um, medicine location hint, and it's going to be in East somewhere. So that's going to be in one of the two uh, uh, two caves. It's going to be in uh, the water spot. It's going to be in uh, the the desert tile. Oh, no. there's P1 on Amazing Toaster's side. Yeah, that's, uh, maybe sure, sure an thing. Amazing Toaster are in P1. Uh that's what you want yeah, to get I right there. I saw the similar color and kind of debated myself into, oh yeah, that's the same P6 we just saw from Amazing Toaster's side. Yeah, it is a it is a very similar color. Yeah, if tell. only if only there was like oil traction and everyone slipped around here too, because it looks like all these bricks are coated in in crude oil or something. Uh, for those not in the know, between the two of us, I, I am definitely the uh, the comic relief uh, of the pair. So uh, I, I leave anything and all things related to actual knowledge of this game to uh, Nightcrawler. It could have been a contender. For worse. <laughs> Probably for worse. Let's be real. <laughs> but, uh, did, you, did you try to pick up a little experience here? Uh, didn't quite work out. Um... Gotta jackhammer that that guy harder, buddy. Ride ride the Dyra. Oh yeah, this is not gonna go well once again. Yep. Well, if he takes Ooh. the lesser bops before, uh, oh there we go. If he takes the bops from the weaker enemies, then he's not gonna be hit by the red Dyra, right? <laughs> well, I mean sometimes you you can crowd surf like that and it works out really well and other times you just kind of get dumped on your head like uh we saw for Fondue D2 right there. I think uh, uh Schmitty knows how difficult his opponent's going to be and so he is uh he has decided to just burn the experience uh in in a couple of ways so far. He had an attempt to uh, kill a blue iron knuckle with a few more uh seconds of dedication and he, he had the the chance to walk back with the experience he'd earned but uh he is dedicating all of it to time and that's probably the wise decision here well it looks like uh schmitty has a good uh idea of where the item is seems like he's on the right track is yeah. saying that uh count has turned down attack in favor of life and i agree that's a strange decision to make um Life is easy to come by, and if you take if you take uh, attack levels, then you're gaining experience faster, and you can set up uh, you can set up better gem uh, gem abuses. So I don't know why he would do that. They're not exactly that that fragile at life four or or three. Well, I mean, I. Uh... Do you think it's just the pressure of the loser's bracket and you go, all right, I'm going to make slightly irrational uh, decisions at this point? And it looks like Amazing Toaster uh, following in Schmitty's footsteps, uh, running to pick up the trophy that we saw on Schmitty's side. Yeah, and that could be very useful, picking up that trophy right there. Uh, he's already in the West, so turning that in, I don't... I think they've come across Rudo, but I don't really remember what it was. Um, they certainly didn't spend much time in it if they did, but, uh, yeah, having that pick up that that'll take a lot off their minds because, uh, they'll, they'll they get a spell that they need or they'll know that they don't have to dig quite as hard or maybe they, you know, maybe they will have to dig hard. It's, it's information to get early and it's a convenient place to get that trophy. And I think Schmidt is heading straight to, to turn it in. Maybe. Well, he didn't up an A. Uh, he's about 100 points away from... Uh, he refused life 5. So it looks like he might be trying to set up magic 4 at this point. That could be. Oh, no, it's going no, to attack. Uh, attack. Okay. That's some good stuff, if you ask me. Now his attack is uh, at twice the level that uh, Countess is in, and if Countess picks up more magic and uh, life levels, it's it's going to make it very difficult to increase his uh, his levels um, in a in a beneficial way. But again, we're placing I I've been placing too much emphasis on this kind of thing just because it's something to talk about. Uh, at the end of the day, these guys are going to be able to finish the game. It doesn't really matter. 
Well, if you can get, you know, at what point do you think you kind of say, all right, I have enough levels one way or the other, no matter what, that I'm confident I can finish the game. Is it five across or, yeah. you know? It's, it's five across, I think, pretty much. That's the go-to answer. Um, you know, the levels vary in their effectiveness. So some people might, you know, for, for one seed, it might be, oh, okay, it's four, four, five is good, or, or four, six, four is good, or whatever. But yeah, generally speaking, five across is going to be your average of, of what you what you want before going into GP. Just kind of like the average completion time of a Z2R seat is like, you know, in the in the one hour, 20 minutes, one hour, 30 minutes range. All right, Knight, get on your uh, best crisscross impersonation. Everybody <laughs> jump, 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 jump. Everybody jump, jump. I'm sorry. Did I disappoint you? <laughs> I've I've never really been the musical type, you know. But, oh, that's uh, all right. It, it, it's oh, it's Countess all really fun. Countess <laughs> is Countess is kind of um, not on his A game today. He just checked a, a location that he'd already been to. Uh, it's just a few seconds uh, of a loss there, maybe like 20, 30 seconds. But um, you, know, you keep on having stuff like this, taking the wrong level. Checking locations twice, and it'll give Schmitty the chance uh, to uh, pull out in the lead. Well, technically, you could say he is in the lead because he does have one palace under his belt, similarly to Amazing Toaster. Yeah. Uh, Fondue D2 at least is in Palace 1 at this point, looking to you know, equalize the number of palaces completed. So... You know, I guess in some ways, you know, a small lead, like I guess you could say Amazing Toaster has over Fondue D2 at this point of maybe, you know, two minutes or so, uh, not that big of a deal. But when you contrast it against Schmitty Games, who at least for placing the first gem is ahead by three, four minutes at this point, uh... Do you start yeah. to get concerned of, you know, okay, Countess is now just behind and has to start gambling potentially more so than maybe they would want to. Speaking of a gamble, um, Schmitty is doing a little bit of a gamble here. Uh, he is in uh, Death Mountain looking for the raft. Now, there's a good chance that it's in here. Uh, but I think at this point it's a 50-50 shot. Um, there's Death Mountain, and, sorry, there's Hammer Cave and uh, Spectral Rock. And uh, opposing that, there is the P3 and P6 items. But the P3 and P6 items are going to be hard to get, and it's possible they're going to be glove blocked. Um, so I'd say this is the right call to make. And here's Spectral Rock right here. Let's see what's in it. There's a raft. Wow. Yeah, that... <laughs> Pretty good play for Schmitty, so uh, I'm almost certain uh, Schmitty will be uh, heading east at this point. Yeah, and even though he was in a new location in Death Mountain, where he possibly could have got to the to the Hammer Cave if he checked some more, um, it was probably statistically the right call to just to just up and out of there because the chances that you know you're going to find the glove in there or or a required spell item are fairly low. Um, so saving that minute or so to check all those, those locations is probably the right call, even though in the long run, it could come back to bite him in the butt, but I don't think anyone else is going to be looking for a hammer cave. So, well, with all of the items that we have outstanding right now, we have all four Oops. heart containers, potentially, if they're in the item pool, uh, three magic containers, uh, the cross, we already know. We've got the candle at large at this point. And the child. Mm -hmm. so, and, and the boots. And uh, we know where the flute is. Right. Well, we know That's the it. flute is on the west. We've got it. Well, oh. at least some of the runners have so, that hint. Oh, it's on the west? Okay. 
Or excuse me, the East, I'm sorry. Speaking of East, here goes Schmitty. And Fontaditu is exploring some weird place that Amazing Toaster was exploring before. Uh, uh, I'm assuming that Schmitty and Countess already explored there too. I just didn't really see it on the northern uh, edge of the continent. There's a quick 500 point pee bag. Going early does have its uh, benefits. Uh, sorry, going east early does have its benefits. Those 500 point pee bags are more and more useful the earlier you go. And here's a potential nice thing to get to. He does have jumps, so he's going to be able to get whatever's up here. Nice. He's probably going to save it for... Eh, okay. Ooh, going to cash in for life 5, so... A little conservative, but, uh, but that's cool. I think... I think he was wondering if he was going to be able to make it to uh, 2000 experience. I, I think that's pretty much a given. He could have made it there pretty easily. What's up, Mimi fan? And uh, RCS, uh, as, as far as the comment about being comically overleveled, I, that can happen, sure. But um, uh, the peat bags don't seem that great in this particular seed. I think there's like a 150 in the, in the um, rounds. I don't think there's much else. Well, so far, Schmitty has found two pea bags and a one-up doll on the Eastern Continent. Probably not uh, what he would really be looking for, but uh, now finding a town, so... Uh... Oh, here we go. Only five containers needed for this item. And uh, Fontu D2 apparently... Uh... This this town was coated in uh, sandpaper at some point because that's kind of what it looks like. To oh my gosh, there's the medicine. Are you kidding? <laughs> there's okay. So now there's only one possible thing that can that can screw uh, them up in terms of uh, getting this the, all the right spells, and that would be the uh, the child. Characters yeah, with the five hundred point bag could that reflect and. Thunder are both gated behind the potential of those uh, particular items. Mm -hmm. Since there are three more towns that Schmitty could visit, uh, they could just be, hey, here's, you know, here's fire, for example, on Schmitty's side of things. And it looks like he's going to test uh, fire out. It looks like uh, might be... No, he hasn't tested it yet. Uh, I would say, as far as RCS and chat, the worst you could get would be like 5.58 five, 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 or 5.68 or something like that. And yeah, that's... Like I was saying, people... Most race... Oh god, he cast the wrong spell. He's got to go back and get... Oh, what a, what a flub. He's got to go all the way back to the first section of... Um, of the town, get his magic back. He's got a face palm on that. Oh no! But at least he knows that uh, fire is not spell. Yeah, what did it end up being? Life? I couldn't tell. It wasn't. Was it fairy? It wasn't yeah. spell? Didn't seem to be jump either. Uh, I you I would have been able to tell if it was shield, but uh, I didn't check so. So, I appreciate you know. it, Mimi fan. All right, what's in the, what's in the the town? The glove. Okay. Well. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, take another one off of the list of uh, you know. Uh, oh, he's going we... back. Interesting. He's, he's going to go... Okay, he's up and Aang, so he can turn in the medicine, see what that is, and finish P3 Austin's and P6. He's going to have a go at P3 was what I was going to assume. Oh, yeah, he's going to do both of them. So, sorry, we've been concentrating a lot on Schmitty. It's just he's in the lead right now. Um, I would say fairly comfortably. Uh, Countess yeah. is in P6, so he has an exploration advantage here, but uh, Schmitty is in P3 right now. Well, that could also kind of bite the countess as well. Uh, it, it could work out in his favor. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, looks like countess is uh, going to have a go with uh, one of the Rebanak mini-bosses. While Amazing yeah. Poster and Fondue D2 are 
both uh, still in the exploration phase. Wait, 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 wait. What is with the elevation of that horse? Why Why is it so high up? I have to... Did he, like, jump at the moment that, that uh, Rebenak spawned and it, and it caused Rebenak to spawn higher above the ground? That is fascinating. RCS, get on it, man. Uh -oh. I need you to, to, to figure that out for me. <laughs> Well, it looks like Fondu D2 found something. Uh, he was in a drop down, which may have been the raft, because he was in Death Mountain. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if Fondu D2 is making a uh, complete beeline toward uh, the raft spot to head east. Looks like it, and it looks like he's heading in the wrong direction to the raft spot. I think he didn't uh, yeah, keep, think he uh, figured keep it, it out and said, nope, up A, gotta go. Yeah. Let me, let me do it the right way this time. All right, well, here's the... Uh, oh, pff, just take the death, buddy. Okay, he's not going to. He has, he has enough magic for a fairy. All right, yeah, so this is the easier version of the... Oh, no, Countess! He oh. messed it up, but, but... Oh, it was Jumpless, too. Jumpless is hard. No wonder he messed it up. What, Countess? Uh, uh oh, Countess uh, forgot oh my that God. Uh, the jump button is a thing there. Uh -huh. Yeah, and now he's not going to be doing uh, jackhammer strats because he can't risk it at this point. Uh, Schmitty is definitely going to try it though, so. Well, Schmitty is in P3 while the Countess is up against Barba in P6. And I'm not really sure why Countess did it jumpless. He has enough. He had enough magic for jump, and he had jump. So maybe saving uh, for something else. Uh, yeah. I guess uh, you know we will see. Well, not well. I mean, he died on that life, so I guess we'll just have to have the mystery. Well, we do get the uh, opportunity to interview, hopefully. So. Uh... Write that one down, Knight. Uh, we're going to have to ask about that one. Write what down? Sorry. Yeah, I, I've exactly. already forgot what it was. <laughs> <laughs> that was your first ZSR? Uh, sorry, Zelda 2 Randomizer? With us on comms? Yeah, you know, magic happens from time to time. <laughs> I think it's just because Freako's voice is just pretty awesome. Like, I mean, you it's not like replicate it, but you know, you, you can never get that, you know, <laughs> uh, you, you know, what once it's out or... of the box, the new car smell kind of just <laughs> dies off a little bit, and then it's just like, yeah, like, like why did I even here? come here, right? But you know, it's like, all right, yeah, these two again. <laughs> Oh, Countess having uh, a little bit of an issue trying to uh, jump and uh, get that little clip. But uh, oh wait, he he did kill Barbara, right? Correct. He's just gone back to the atom. Okay. Yeah, it certainly looks like it. But I think at this point, it's almost certainly to be either a heart or magic container at this point, or some other relative junk. Like uh, a candle, uh, pea bag, one up doll, <laughs> some other uh, undesirable, as it were. But, uh, uh, we'll see. It could be. What could it be? I mean, they have boots, right? They know where the flute uh, is. Uh, it could be child. That would be. Oh. Countess. Oh, he needed he needed the magic. Uh, okay. No magic okay, to cast fairy that time. Kid was in Hammer Cave? Oh, okay, cool. It looks like Fonty D2 is getting it too. Uh unless my oh no, never mind, he's in a different cave. Mason Toaster oh. got it. Cool. So that actually could be a big thing for Mason Toaster. If Mason Toaster um needs some kind of advantage, if that leads to reflect or thunder, then that certainly would be an advantage uh in his race against Fonty D2. Um, but that's the only real... Yeah, so, I mean, P6 is going to have a junk item. That's just that's just assured. We know where the flute is. We got pretty much everything else. I mean, it could be a magic container, but you don't need that to get the NK item. So, 
It's gonna be junk. I mean, it could be a heart container, and I think that's kind of like, uh, you know, the best of the rest out of all of the items. Nah, yeah. more magic containers are always gonna trump your your, your uh, heart containers, I think. Well, yeah, I guess, uh, you know, casting thunder is a thing. Uh, so, if it has some exorbitantly high cost, we could see the potential for having to track down those magic containers uh, just to cast thunder. Right. Yeah, and thunder can be super useful. Like, you're wandering through a bad screen, uh, thunder, and here's 500 experience. Um, RCS saying that I, I uh, have a, uh, a voice that makes me set sound handsome um i i hate my voice like when i listen back to it i, I absolutely well, despise I, it. I am exactly the same way i can't <laughs> listen to myself i just can't do it i'm just like Ugh. but you know uh i i guess i listen to it so often that it's just like uh please yeah. no i don't want to hear myself cover my ears it's one of those things people like you can't tickle yourself like, that's just a thing. Uh, most people can't really smell themselves until it gets really bad. And I guess people always hate their own voice. I guess those are like the two... Oh, good job, Schmitty. Was that Jumpless? What a hero, man. Look at that shit. Oh, no, it wasn't Jumpless. No, but still, he's was definitely using Jump. Uh, so he's gone from the Jackhammer strats to uh, normal uh, Jump strats. Uh, so probably this will probably save him one cycle. Although... Um, uh, Barba appearing on the left is is not helping him because that's one of the more difficult uh, difficult ones to to uh, deal with. So most people gamble it's going to be on the right or the middle. Oh shit! Oh. Just getting the worst <laughs> luck. Four out of five on the left side, and uh, oh, this should oh. do it. One way or the other. There we go. <laughs> That was like five hits per bar, too, at, at attack four. Um, that was no joke. It was a good fight. Uh, I think I think in terms of improving it, um, what I've been working on recently is transitioning to the left from, from the right. Um, because, yeah, you end up in situations like that where he just keeps spawning on the left and you get like two or three hits per, per cycle and you don't want that. You can be a little bit braver and get, you know, four or five hits. Um, even after you move there, it's just not easy. Now, one thing to consider, Schmitty just said, nope, gotta go, bye. Yeah. Whereas the Countess has now found, after all of that time, a magic jar. Which, um, like we were saying, that's the best... I think that's the best possible thing you can get. Um, you know, you were thinking probably second best, but... Um, yeah, it, it, we knew it wasn't going to be anything important, so. Yeah, that, uh, you know, just gives Schmitty, you know, that much more of an advantage from having the extra information and items, I believe, over Countess at this point. Uh, so, you know... It's a thing, and it, it looks like, you know, the lid's starting to uh, boil over for Countess, making these small little mistakes that are just, you know, going to start, you know, chipping away at time. Uh, Fondue D2 and Amazing Toaster both in Maze Island. Uh, one of the items, a heart container, as we see on Amazing Toaster's side. I did not see the palace. And it looks like both uh, items are oh. a heart container. Amazing Toast is going to be losing time here. He does not have the boots, does he? Where were the boots again? Or did they get... They got the boots in, like, Nukasudo, right? Like, why is Shmini avoiding going on the water? I do not know, but... Uh... Okay, well, I could be totally wrong. Have them? Yeah, maybe I was wrong and, like, getting my memories confused. I know somebody has them. Yeah. Yeah, well, there are two items. Okay, it was medicine and glove. Yeah, okay. Well, the boots were... I, th I thought we'd seen the boots. Someone has the boots. Uh, but 
because the lack of boots are kind of made amazing toasters uh journey through uh maze island a little bit less awesome uh, for him it looks like nobody has the boots uh so we're just on co let's see the, again. the glove was what i debated myself with uh i believe only schmitty has the glove oh look at this huge ass road that's the thickest road I've seen in a long time. Like, <laughs> I've seen roads that are thick, but they, they, they narrow, narrow down again. Here, not so much. Sh Schmitty? Oh, yeah, he's still got to find the uh, the uh, flute. It could be here. So, basically, it's the flute and the boots that are... Outstanding? Outstanding item wise well i guess for some runners uh the child as well but uh yeah the, it's really not oh excuse me uh <laughs> anything i th think uh yeah the kid could be a thing um for most of the racers well, if the child's gating thunder or, you know, reflect, then it's definitely a thing. Uh, it's just the chances spells, so I slim. believe, uh, are still outstanding, as are a good number of the spells for all of our runners, to be honest. Uh, maybe having trouble with his Lizalfos. Uh, he's got to know how to fight them, right? Well, he's having trouble, but he's not really taking damage, so... Eh. I mean, he has to know the, you know, basically 100% hit rate to fight them, but eh, it's done. I'm just wondering how much time Schmidt is going to look for the items in Maze Island, because he doesn't really need them. And, I mean, yeah, he's in the lead, well, but you can never have too much of a lead. Well, knowing that there's two heart containers in Maze Island, I believe he's found one of them already. God, but, there's two? Yeah. <laughs> so, Maze Island itself is not going to be all that great in the way of items, but Schmitty will have all eight blocks uh, if he's not found. Okay, uh, so... so let's see. Palace 5 for Schmitty Games, I'm assuming here. I don't know about this. I don't know about this spending time in Maze Island when you have everything you need. Well, he doesn't. Well, but he does. Like, I mean, he doesn't have the boots. They could be required, but they're probably not, and they're probably not here. Um, I mean... It's the boots and the flute, I think. But the, the flute's, flute's not going to be here. We know it's, in, it's not in Maze Island. Well, uh, yeah, a, I guess since it you know, said it's on the west, but Schmitty may yeah. not know that. I, I think he got the hint. Uh, it's possible he didn't. Uh, but, you know, looking at four runners, you know, keeping track of every little thing they've done, you know, it's not just a one-on-one -on -one race. Yeah, uh, for sure. You know... But right yeah. now, it, it's the flute, the child, uh, and Schmitty, I can only assume, is looking for, you know, the boots, and there's the second item. Oh, yeah, so. and possibly the child, but I just feel like that was like three minutes of searching right there, and now he's searching for a third item location. I think he's searching for the exit, but, uh, you know, or some way to weasel out some points uh, i'm kind of surprised he's not just up and aing here but i guess uh he just wants to get out of maze island perhaps oh oh he did a cute little clip maybe that's cool okay yeah so he uh passed through an encounter to put himself onto the mountain so that he could walk left and get closer to the palace that is cute i like that all right so i i am gonna call hacks but, it's uh, hacks, but who cares? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Amazing Toaster found his way to the end of Palace 5 and is fighting Guma. 
I believe Fondue D2 has bailed out of Maze Island. Uh, Schmitty Games is into Palace 5 now. And Lightning uh, is saying that, Amazing Toaster. Yeah, Lightning mentioning that uh, he saw the flute in, in Fondue D2's inventory. I, I'm not sure if Fondue D2 uh, or Amazing Toaster is in the inventory. lead. Too. I believe that was the any key. Uh, well, I mean, I didn't see it, but I wasn't looking. So. Meanwhile, Countess with his uh, Dragon Quest Four female hero sprite is making his way through the east and getting up on the thick road up here. I guess we'll see when uh, Fondue D2 opens up his inventory to go for a, a spell, but... Uh... You know, I thought it was the any key, but, you know, getting that one little quick glimpse to take a look at it, uh, you know, oh. it doesn't uh, make it easy, so I may just not be looking in the right spot. Now, <laughs> Schmitty, that was a beautiful fight from uh, Schmitty against uh, Bosco, where that's basically textbook aggressive strats without... that's I've, I think that's about as aggressive as you can get before you start doing the jackhammer strats, which are very difficult. The Amazing Toaster has uh, finally finished off uh, Boss Guma. Schmitty uh, getting in and getting out mm -hmm. before uh, Amazing Toaster uh, yeah. was, was able it, to uh... finish a fight that he started before Schmitty even went into the palace. Yeah, uh, Schmitty finished that real quick. Um, it, the, the higher attack level helps, and the more aggressive strats helps. Although, um, I, you know, if I was on my last hit against uh, Boskuma, I would probably go to safe strats too. Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think. Uh, <laughs> There's the flute. Opened up a oh. big time lead at this point. Uh, only Palace 2 and 4 remaining. For Schmitty, uh, it looks like uh, Countess uh, still needs to finish five and three just to catch back up. Uh, uh, on the other side, uh, with the race between Fondue D2 and Amazing Toaster, uh, Amazing Toaster, as we just saw, finishing off Guma, giving him the advantage of Palace Five, but Fondue D2 up against Helmet Head. So, you know, two palaces apiece for our race on the right side, but a clear advantage for Schmitty on our left side race against Countess. Right. Oh, look at that, you know, little pipsqueak uh, valley of death that we have over there on Fonte D2's side. That's pretty fun. And it looks like Countess is looking for the, the hint in old Kasuto. Is he doing this for the memes, or is he really looking for... I think he... Uh, okay, it's in here. Old Kasuto needs a, a little bit of a, a renovation there. Oh, yeah, it sure does. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> uh, well, it's not often where you see people checking for the hints in there, but uh, it's cool to see. All right, so it looks like Schmidty is heading to... P2. Uh, Countess is trying to get the heck out of this uh, old Casuto. It was a big time investment. Um, I don't know what he was expecting. Uh, does he not have the glove yet or something? No, he doesn't. He hasn't well, checked Death Mountain. Fondue D2 has picked up uh, a spell. Uh, Good fairy for Countess. Use this magic to survive. That's... Uh, not reflect. And uh, nope. Schmitty and uh, Count is using completely different strats to get through. Uh, Schmitty is using a strat that's uh, gone into favor in the last couple of weeks, um, which is uh, stabbing a certain number of times before you exit the uh, lava encounter, the forced lava encounter. Uh, it, it forces the enemies to uh, jump you as soon as you leave, um, does something with the uh, scripting of the enemies. And so it helps you get uh, encounter skips. Uh, Countess was using the fairy feet trick, which is faster, uh, and he, he did pull it off quite successfully.
Uh, Schmini at this point looks like he's uh, just um, going for it. He doesn't he doesn't care about more attack levels at this point. Well, I think we've already hit that uh, threshold for Schmitty that he's just going, all right, even right now I'm at life six, magic six, attack five. Yeah. I'm good to go. So yeah. why bother with, you know, getting the extra level ups? Don't really need them. Fonto D2 fighting those bees in the swamp. Uh, those bees are like my least favorite enemy in the game. I don't know what he was really looking for. Oh, he's trying to get a couple more experience, and those bees do have uh, usually a pretty good amount. Uh, not so much with these boas, but if he had eliminated that last one, he would have been able to, to kill the uh, uh, Lizalfos without much interference, and that would have gotten him his experience. But you don't really need to grind for experience if you're still looking around. Well, perhaps he's considering an up and A in the very near future? Yeah, that that would be it. But and, it looks like he's traveled know, a long way without doing that, so I guess maybe You know, maybe burning just... off what could be, you know, 2,000 experience, I guess, uh, with his levels where they are, uh, well, both runners on the right side are at uh, attack 4, magic, and life 5. Maybe it's just a matter of, you know, getting that level, be it life, magic, or attack at this point. I'm not entirely sure which one it would be, but, uh... Yeah, but I'm, I'm just saying, if he's still exploring, there's no need to grind out the small enemies. Just find a nice big enemy and kill it. On your way. You don't have to stop and, and do stuff. Oh, Here's a nice. GP. And I think he wanted to stop into the palace and, uh... Up and A. You know, whack a, uh, a golem to, uh, get the experience and just... Uh, nope, found Great Palace instead. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, quite quite probably. Uh, searching for New Casuto still. Uh, either that was just a reflex or he hasn't found, uh, New Casuto. Uh, I think it was pretty close to the start, so that's a little surprising. Meanwhile, Countess is going through that uh, lob room I mentioned earlier. That's very difficult without uh, spells. It's one of the more difficult... Uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Let's see. He had uh, Fairy. I don't think he had enough magic to cast it, though. No, or he would have done it right away like he does this time around. Yeah. In RCS, I will talk about any and every strat as soon as it becomes uh, somewhat relevant. Oh, the candle. He's not even going to take it. Not even going to spend the extra one second to pick it up. <laughs> Hope that doesn't cost him more than one second later on. Well, <sighs> we'll see. But, uh, you know, so far, ooh, Schmitty does not have the flute. Uh, it looks like all the rest of the runners do. No, he's got it. I saw him pick it up. Unless he gave it back. You sure about that? Maybe he got mugged by a Gurria. Gurria of Tantari stole my flute. You know, you know how it goes. Uh, it looks like Toaster's picked it up. Schmitty's picked it up uh, with the candle. So, uh... We'll see, but, uh... I guess it's just a matter of uh, getting from point A to point B for our runners. Uh, Schmitty, no, as a lot we of say, pretty far ahead of the Countess at this point. Uh, still two dungeons ahead at this point, four to two. Whereas Amazing Toaster and Fondue D2. Uh, both on two dungeons and working on their third. Right, and it's it's interesting that uh, Countess, Schmidt, and the Maze Dust are all working on Palace 2 right now, and Font 2D2 did that, you know, five minutes ago. I, oh, I, the way I think Font 2D2 might actually be in the lead between him and Amazing Toaster. Well, with how easy it looked to go from start to Guma in Palace 5... Mm -hmm. uh, for Amazing Toaster, I want to agree with you. Yeah. Because it should be 
pretty clear to Fondue D2 by the time he goes to Palace 5 at this point that he's just going, all right, I don't need to go looking for an item. I'm out. I'm done. The Fondue D2 picking up the medicine. Mm -hmm. As Amazing Toaster and it looks like the Countess both finishing off uh, Helmet Head. I want to pay attention to one of these guys' pause menus at some point soon. There, oh, look at that. Nice. Got a little turtle head for that uh, helmet head. Three hits at attack five. Yeah, I was going to say, I <laughs> I just noticed that Schmitty was starting the helmet head fight, and then it was just imploding on itself. <laughs> oh, he's done. Yeah, having uh, having sword levels helps. Oh, he's gonna go for the fairy feet this time, and another attack level. That was some some good leveling. So he's got six 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 now. Uh, yeah, nothing to see here. Don't don't worry about that number. <laughs> well, it looks like Schmitty made his way out of the Valley of Death. So we'll see what he's got uh, in store next. Uh, the Countess uh, falling down. Gonna get his heart containers. He's he's refusing to pick up the heart. Uh, um, I know hearts aren't the best, but he, I would pick it up. <laughs> when he's still four. on four like that, that uh, that yeah. seems bold. It's bold, and I think it's gonna cost him in GP. Uh, you know, and, and I'm kind of sugarcoating it because, well, I have to by calling it bold. It, it, it's, uh... Yeah. I, I mean, look, it's not the best item to find, but it will help you. It'll save lives in JP. I mean, and... I'm okay with, you know, alright, candle, nope, and just, <sighs> you know... Yeah, and also, you know, candle to me, makes the game a little bit less fun. I'll still pick up the candle, but... Uh, okay. No, it is a funny, nice challenge, but it's gonna cost... It, it could cost him this race, because he is not in the lead. He might expect to be in the lead, but he's not. Well, unfortunately for the Countess, I, I would almost say that he's just about getting blown out at this point by Schmitty. With, yeah, you know, the perceived time advantage that I think he has. Uh, Fondue D2, uh, I think is probably ahead of Amazing Toaster, but not really. Oh, was Nabooru here this whole time and Shmini missed it? That's hilarious. Uh, or maybe Fondue he's just going in for a refill. No, probably not, because there's a refill in, in the other place too. I believe Fondue D2 might be into Palace 5. I believe that is the uh, correct uh, structure for uh, Palace 5. The color got... seems to be... Uh... There's the thunder. We just need we just need to reflect. And it is confirmed locked by the child. So Shmini's going to have to find that Darunia. And he's going to have to... Go get the hint and see where that is, because, I mean, he could hope that he stumbles across a child, but uh, I think going for Durini is probably the better bet. I don't know if he's seen it, though. It might be in some weird valley with a passer cave. Well, if Countess has an advantage of any kind right now, it is that he has the child ready. Oh, there we go. As does uh, Amazing Toaster compared to Fondue D2. Uh, Amazing Toaster has the child and the glove now, finally. So equalizing in that regard. Well, the lack of hearts just took its toll. I'm sorry to say. I, he was doing it for the lulls, I get it. But uh, if he had those two hearts that he found and just noped out on, he would have, he would not have died. And that would have saved him quite a bit of time. Yeah. I, I think it's... Uh, 
a little unfortunate for uh, the countess at this point, but uh, you know what can you say at this point? But uh, she for oh well. too. So at this point. You know, Fondue D2 starting to uh, mount uh, a little bit of a comeback here. Three palaces each on Fondue D2 and Amazing Toaster's side. But, uh, Schmitty uh, going for the walls, going for this clip. Could potentially have saved him like half a second as opposed to using Fairy. And now it's costing him. Okay, he gets it finally. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Well, it is what it is at this point. Uh, Schmitty probably doesn't know that he's ahead. Uh, he shouldn't know that he's no. ahead of the Countess, but, uh, you know, he should know where he is. Uh... I guess part of going for that clip, for instance, is a little bit of practice. I just don't think that... Uh, so, so if he if he came to this town in a later race and he didn't have fairy, getting that clip would would save not half a second. It would save. Yeah, Death Mountain holds a child. Schmitty's kicking himself because he checked Death Mountain and did not go into Hammer Cave. He skipped out on it. Anyway, yeah, um, that that particular jump clip did not doesn't usually save much time over the fairy method, like half a second or so. But if there was another race in the future. Then if he was more, if he was comfortable using that clip, it could save him money. I mean, money. <laughs> well, what? sometimes time is money, so <laughs> you know. I, I I can see where you're going with this. But, uh... <laughs> I yeah. <laughs> this is just what happens sometimes. Oh, and hey, Buzz and Zarnax. But, you know, at, at the end of the day, it looks like, uh, you know, Countess potentially, uh, do we dare say on the comeback trail now that, uh, Schmitty has finally, uh, found what he needs to do next and is going to spend some time in Death Mountain, retracing his steps back to where he was, and unfortunately, you know, Half an hour ago, we say, hey, this could kind of bite him in the butt, and, well, it did. Yeah, it did. It's so, it, the, the chance of it happening were so rare. I think we went over these possibilities. We were like, well, if it bites him in the butt, what could it possibly be? It could be, uh... <laughs> it was right there! It was right by yeah. Inspector Rock. <laughs> he stops in disbelief, and, yeah... Yeah, we talked about this exact scenario. It's, it's a shame, but uh, he's thinking this is costing him huge. He's going to play really serious now, and he's not going to go for those clips that can cost him time, stuff like that. Uh oh, um, so Schmitty's probably in uh, try-hard mode at this point? Yeah, he doesn't know that it doesn't have to be right now, but it's good that he's, he's entering that mode. This is where oh. your brain clicks over. <laughs> Well, for both of our runners, uh, well, I should say both matches and the runners are kind of in that, you know, all right, I lose and I'm done mentality. So, you know, yep. between the Countess and Schmitty games, the loser is done, the winner moves on in the bracket, and again, for Fondue D2 and Amazing Toaster, the same applies. And we find a Palace 4 uh, on some nice beachfront property uh, out in the middle of nowhere on Amazing Toaster's side. Uh, he had oh, yeah. a child. In that peninsula? Yeah. That was a really cool thing. So it looks like boots are not required anywhere in this race because this is... Uh, that's the last Palace we haven't seen completed yet, right? We've seen well, six, five. Nobody has three. reflect at this point, so yeah. nobody can really go into Palace Four and expect to finish it. Uh, Countess uh, picking up uh, the item in P4, which was a medicine jar, 
Not really sure... Well, I guess he's looking for the child as well. Yeah, Countess is nailing these fairy feet, and I think he's... He's cheering, or... Infuriated, uh, Probably or ranting, because we can see his face cam, and yeah. he's kind of uh blowing a gasket a little bit yeah i i think that's more of the i want to throw my controller against the wall if i wasn't using it for this race right now yeah i mean i'd be cheering that i nailed that fairy feet that that much but uh you know i think that countess has no difficulty doing fairy feet and yeah, we've seen him nail it time and time again in this and for those, for those who are new viewers, what Fairy Feet is, is uh, in a forced encounter on the overworld where you're supposed to go from left to right or right to left, where it starts you on one side or the other, um, if you use Fairy, which has instant acceleration, and you just barely clip past the boundaries where, uh, where it makes your sprite disappear, it puts you past the, um, the screen transition boundary. And then the game determines what side of the the um, of the uh, force encounter it'll put you on based on uh, what direction you're holding on your D-pad when you're outside of the screen boundary. It's not like oh he's on the left of the screen and he's moving left. It's it's more like he's not in the boundary and he's moving left. It's probably one less variable for them to track. Oh, fuck, Countess. <laughs> it's it's one less variable for them to track in the game. So is easier coding, probably less memory, less processing power, but it lets you do fairy feet. There you go. Yeah, Schmitty reflect. has reflect, so at this point, it's just a matter of finding a nice uh, beachfront property for, uh, you know, his retirement, perhaps. Uh, got... Not from this tournament, but definitely from this seed. Uh, he already knows where Great Palace is. We got a really cool I five in uh, Amazing Toaster and Final Two D two side. They're both fighting the same mini boss in P six. Now we saw one that was really high, and now that one looked like it was stuck in the ground for Amazing Toaster. Yeah, I think that's. Oh, I I didn't see that. I got a. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Maybe he was ducking or something. Maybe there's some sort of manipulation you can do. But. Uh... <laughs> Oh, we'll see soon enough with, uh, I, I guess, uh, you're going to have your crack team of analysts on, uh, trying to figure out this great mystery, uh, well, you know the next what? few days. These kind of things, when you investigate them, they can lead to either huge, you know, game-breaking things that you can do, or lulls, and both of those are worth it. Exactly. So, yeah. Just like, you know, pressing left and right at the same time can do some funny stuff. You know, there's funny stuff you can do when uh, you spawn enemies in the ground, probably. Or in the air. Upstabbing Rebanak? That'd be the lulls. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Could this you imagine if you can... Close fight. Uh, Amazing Toaster uh, was in a little bit earlier, but it looks like Fondue D2... Uh, about to finish off this Barba fight. Uh, gonna get a little bit of an advantage here over Amazing Toaster, who has uh, taken a little bit of a pit stop, menued into a couple spells. Yeah, uh, so Fonte due to pull ahead here by a couple of seconds. So th as much as I don't want to say the Countess is really out of it, but Schmitty is so far ahead at this point, from my perspective, that I think uh, it's really Schmitty's game to lose at this point. Uh, Fondue D2 against Amazing Toaster is turning out to be a real close battle. Yeah, so Lightning, what we were talking about, um, at least I didn't see the, the, the buried in the floor thing. Um, but when it was higher up, it was moving around higher up too. It wasn't just, it wasn't just when it was going off. Yeah, when Fondue D2 was in Palace 6, there was a Rebanac that was floating probably 
half a sprite block above where yeah. it should be. And then on Amazing Toaster's side, that same... Well, I guess not the same Reban Act, but the Reban Act that Amazing Toaster fought was buried that half a tile into the ground. And I'm kind of, uh-oh, is that thing just, like, stuck in the corner in the ground while I was watching it? And, uh, you know, it did charge back across, but, uh, <laughs> you know... You know, do these runs enough, and you just sort of see these oddball things. <laughs> yeah. Like, on a few of these races, I've seen graphical glitches where, like, sand appears, like, in the, um, in the rock face. All right, so Kaunas picks up his thunder, too. Yeah, so Kaunas, uh... Not turning in for Reflect yet? Does he have Reflect at this point? I know used the spell. Oh, sorry. Did I? I think Countess just picked it up. My mistake. Um, I I probably used the wrong person name now. But yeah, he just picked it up. I think. Oh wait. Okay. Well, I blame it all Did on he... there being four runners on the screen, and my head is spinning trying to keep up with them all. So you know, again, eh. Fire beware, especially when I'm involved in commentary. You know. Yeah, I okay, yeah. I thought there was Nuka Sudo. Fiesta and just go for it. Yeah, I thought there was Nuka Sudo, and Kanis just got that, and then I think, uh, yeah, so Daronia was Reflect, and Schmitty has that, and I'm assuming Countess has that or will be getting it soon. Yeah, Fire was Nuka Sudo. Yeah. All right, like so I'm... go for it. Amazing Toaster uh, finding his way into the Palace 3 boss. So might be uh, getting a little bit of a lead back on Fondue D2 here. Uh, Schmitty making his way through Palace 4. Uh, the Countess uh, looking to perhaps uh, unlock uh, all four uh, directions of uh, his fighting style. Looks like it, and I'm, and he's still in the uh, safer quick strat, which is the fairy strats. So that's getting a little bit of time back from Schmitty. Uh, it's not probably going to be nearly enough, and Schmitty's just going to be dropping to the bottom and going right to get to Karak. Uh, works out most of the time. Well, let's see if, uh, I believe Countess already has the child, so he should be able to turn this in as well. Yeah, he does. He, you were saying he was the first person to get the child, right? I believe so. Uh, but he also, to my knowledge, has not turned it in yet, but I think he's going to fix that. Yeah. Right now. Rectified. So that will give the Countess, uh, reflect. So now Countess has Thunder and Reflect, and is, at least uh, from a spell standpoint, on equal footing with Schmitty Games. However, Schmitty has found his way to Karak at this point. So... Alright, so Fonte D2 is uh, passing through the tip of, of Thick Road, and there was a spider there, and he, he uh, squashed it and went past. I don't know, just something entertaining about that. <laughs> Gosh. Schmitty is playing around with Karak. Alright, so Schmitty has now defeated all six uh, palaces. So yep. it looks like it's time to uh, see exactly where he is with uh, when he ends up into uh, the Great Palace compared to Countess, who should be a very significant uh, point uh, behind Schmitty. Yeah, uh, and Countess did just pick up his boots, so if he uses those, he can get a little bit of time back. Uh, but clearly, Schmitty's just about to enter GP, and Countess isn't, so boots aren't really going to be a concern for Schmitty anymore. No, unfortunately, uh, You know, 
with Palace 3 and 4 still in the way for the Countess at this point, and, you know, Countess is going, all right, well, I've got to do uh, Palace 3, so let's get that done. Hopefully this will go quickly. Uh, he won't need to search for an item of any kind. All right, we got ourselves a nice bloody GP color. Uh, well, using the timer as a reference, let's say uh, one hour, 14 minutes for Schmitty Games to go into Great Palace so we can see, you know, if it comes to it, how much of an advantage he has over the Countess as to when the Countess makes it into GP. All right, Schmitty doing an excellent job in this first room. When there's this much slowdown, it's very hard to time your stuff effectively, especially since the slowdown starts and ends at unpredictable times, or at least times you kind of have to feel out. Um, and uh, yeah, that jump spell, that's that's why it's so useful in GP. You can skip past these uh, chicken and waffle rooms um, very effectively. Ooh, Karen is doing some nice aggressive strats in this longer room. Uh, that's cool. Oh, let's see. Uh, we have Thunderbird required, correct? So Schmitty is definitely going to require a Thunderbird oh, wow. battle. Not that I believe it to be all that difficult. I'm, I'm trying to reach for any, you know, glimmer of hope that the Countess might still be able to have that he could make a comeback in this race. Good Rubenak fight so far from uh, Countess. Um, didn't quite get the corner strats, though, unfortunately. Meanwhile, Schmitty is uh, in the zone in GP. He's been avoiding enemies uh, very effectively so far, only taking about two, uh, two and a half now uh, hearts of damage in all these rooms he's covered. And he's not even going to play around in this, um, this wall room. He's just going to cast jump right away. That's probably smart. Worked out last time. Well, it's not necessarily a chicken and waffle room, but uh, right. definitely a waffle room. Yeah, so jump might not, might not have been necessary this time, but doing it on reflex isn't going to cost you that much. And uh, Countess with his... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure he's got attack four still, you know? That's what happens when you invest in, in life too early. Well, let it be known for uh, future races that uh, that uh, investment may be, uh, you know, investments do have a uh, potential for uh, loss. And uh, yeah. unfortunately for the Countess, it looks like uh, that might be where he's at right now. But uh, Oh, you know what else? See, so you got this Thunderbird on Schmitty's side. There were a lot of lefts and a lot of turns before this. So that means that there's, pro there's probably not much past Thunderbird. Probably just like five or less rooms, or five or fewer. Uh, Amazing Toaster picking up his boots. That can help in his... Uh, uh, in his race against Fontu D2, uh, boots could actually be, be a difference maker. Well, this is very close between Fondue D2 and Amazing Toaster at this point. Yeah. Uh, you know, just to recount, uh, Amazing Toaster does have a lead oh. in that, well, he does have one palace left to go, and that's Palace 4, whereas Fondue D2 does need to finish this palace off and then find his way into Palace 4, but uh, I think Fondue D2 might have a problem. Schmitty might have a problem too. He's taking the drop. I don't know if I agree with this. There was another way he could have gone. Uh, but this is a drop room heading right. Maybe. Not well, yet. At, at least we can say, alright, Schmitty did get the Thunderbird out of the way, so... You know, thing is, uh, Charlie isn't so much a thing anymore for him. Yeah, but the thing is, this drop could have put him anywhere in the palace. Getting back to Thunderbird 
could be a matter of up and aing. He might be so lost at this point. Um, or he could just, you know, come across Dark Link right away. Uh, we'll have to see which it, which it is. Uh, I, I'm getting the... I'm getting the, uh... Heads up from our reporter, Lightning, that, uh, Fontaduto does not have the child and he was in P4. So, that is correct. So that's uh, the bueno. That was why I was saying Fondu D2 had a little bit of a problem. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he does not have the child, therefore we know he cannot have Reflect. Uh, so this might well, uh, unfortunately for Fondu D2, kind of uh, sink the battleship, as it were. Yeah, and I think um, Schmitty Games' drop after Thunderbird might have been a mistake. We'll find out right here. If it's not Dark Link... Okay, it's Dark Link. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, come on, Chicken Little. The sky isn't falling <laughs> all the time. Well, I was going to say, if it's not Dark Link, it probably looped him in somewhere weird in the rest of Palace. Yeah, which would mean an almost certain up and A at that point. Exactly, but here we are with the uh, magenta background. And you know what magenta backgrounds mean. I know that looked red to me, and now it's black, so well, I know nothing. Yeah, I can agree. All right, guys and gals, get your GGs in chat. Uh, Schmidt Games is finished with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 19 minutes, and what was that 59 seconds? Yes, 119.59 for Schmidt Games. Uh, first place uh, out of all four runners, but more importantly, first place uh, in his match against the Countess, so. Unfortunately for the Countess, that will mean that he is eliminated from the tournament. And Schmitty Games, with this victory, will move on in the loser's bracket to face the winner of the Alan Hefley and Riku player. I uh, hear Schmitty's coming in. He just needs a few minutes to re regroup himself. Yeah, that's or change his pants or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, they look like a couple try-hard moments there for Schmitty. So, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, it could be um, anything. But uh, the count is still uh, plugging on. Going to, uh, you know, kind of just sit in the corner and go, all right, Karak, do your thing. <laughs> But uh, Fondue D2, uh... oh boy, Th this this is a problem. Yeah, yeah. so I think Amazing Toaster is taking the lead back. If if uh, Fondue D2 ever had it, um, he he doesn't have it anymore. How's it going, Schmitty? Congratulations. Hey, thanks. So, how about that child? Yeah, how about that child? <laughs> It's funny because when I saw you, um, you know, in Death Mountain, and you know, you you got the uh, the glove or whatever it was, no, the raft, and, and you were no open out of there. I'm like, yeah, this makes sense. Um, he has all these extra extra things, you know, that he can check. But um, even with that, the chances that it's something required are, are so slim. It could be a, a magic item or you know, a glove or whatever, but yeah, the chances are pretty slim, and it turns out it happens to be exactly one of those items. Yeah, you I, might I, learn nothing from uh, the run last night, where uh, you know, the high percentage play ended up being the wrong one. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Did I get I, super lucky on that run? Well, oh. yeah, and no. I mean, there was a little bit of luck and a little bit of... Um, a little bit of unluck too, right? Oh, finding the cave to Darunia. Oh, was, oh, okay. I, I, was it was Darunia pretty hard to find? I, it was behind one cave in the north, and I realized the only way to get there was to find one cave. The first cave I go into to check led me to it. Oh, that's good stuff. I actually how, missed how that. You I I really didn't think I was going to be able to defeat the Countess. The Countess is very good. He is very good, but um, yeah, unfortunately, he he didn't seem to be playing at his peak today. Uh, he made some kind of silly decisions, um, and I don't think 
it took him a while to go into Death Mountain, of course. I mean, most people don't like to go into Death Mountain, but he, he checked P3. No, he checked P6, noped out of there real quick. And then he checked P3 for the uh, for the raft and, you know, couldn't couldn't get it from there. Uh, and then, like, later on, when he found uh, the candle, he noped out of that. You know, he didn't want to get the candle. Like, okay, that's funny. But then he, he noped out of getting the, the heart containers in, in Maze Island and... Uh, those would have been really useful in his, uh, in his fight against Boss Kuma, because he took a couple of deaths. And yeah, didn't we get, like, three heart containers, like, right in a row in that section? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, two of them in Maze Island, and one more not too far away. I think it was one of the, uh, palaces that had the heart container as an item in it. So you got sub-90. Good stuff, man. Yeah, I, I kind of blew that seed away a little bit. <laughs> um, or sorry, it's a baby. Well, getting the starting items I had was really good for me. Um, fairy, of course. Magic key, I didn't have to worry about palaces, so I was just free to roam. Mm -hmm. And the, the early experience, the finding the early 500-point pee bag just sort of cut me loose. And that was... The troll was the kid, and... Well, Countess isn't that far behind you. Um, he's actually in GP right now. I have to say that uh, that GP could have been really nasty. Yeah, the, um, when I saw the second drop on my last lap, I was like, this is going to send me all the way back. <laughs> yeah, I was saying that too. I was saying, if this is not Dark Link, then taking that drop after T-Bird was a mistake. Yeah. And he's going to have to up an A. I mean, would you have up an A there, or would you have tried to find the old path somewhere? Uh, that was it was two it was two straight drops into uh dead end uh right hand only rooms the uh the drop in rooms for T Bird and Vanilla. So there's there was no way back from there if that was a dead end. Right. It, it would have been a long way back. <laughs> yeah. Well doesn't the randomizer have to have to make a way back from every location? I, don't think I mean Sorry. Um, not in GP, because in GP you can always up an A to get back to the start, regardless of flag settings, so... That's true. Yeah, I don't think I've seen it, though. Probably. You probably have to ask Dig Shake for sure on that one. Right. Because I've never had that really be a problem where I couldn't just, you know, up an A and start over. Or in to where I didn't want to, anyway. Yeah, I guess, um, I guess that couldn't have led, oh, uh, no, Ooh. I mean, that could have led back to before Thunderbird, couldn't it? That last drop? Well, there was, no, there was the Jackamus room somewhere, I remember. Final yeah. Final Pichu seems to be struggling in Death Mountain right now, uh, I believe he's not far away from, uh, the child he seeks, but uh, not possibly picking the right cave. Amazing Toaster into uh, the Thunderbird fight, but might end up taking a death here as uh, yeah. unfortunately eating a fireball. The Countess, too. I got, really lucky in, I got really lucky in Death Mountain, too. Oh, and uh, you, you got your jackhammer on the, the first cycle of Barba. That was pretty nice. And your, yeah, uh, your Guma fight was clean. I don't really remember my Guma fight. I guess it was pretty oh, good. it went so fast. Uh, <laughs> that uh, it fits the narrative. Uh. <laughs> the zone there through the mid-game, once I saw my path to the end, and then, of course, the kid sort of interrupted that. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, when you get in the zone, what can throw you off that is, oh, you know, I did something. I, I could have had it already. I could have, you know, that, that self-doubt that you get um, can tend to throw you off your zone. But you seem to have it back, at least at least when you're in GP. Uh, you, were, you were going through those rooms very effectively. I just wanted to get it done. I wasn't sure if I was winning or not, but apparently I was really winning, so... Yeah. 
I think the big What's... the big things were you know going in to the Death Mountain uh, pretty quick and uh, the searching of P three and P six on Countess's side. Um, I think those together cost I don't know four or five minutes probably, and you were just uh, pretty much on fire for most of the seed. Well, the Countess going into GP was uh, a little over nine minutes behind. Uh, the race right now is actually between the Countess and Amazing Toaster, as they are literally in the same room as each other <laughs> after the Thunderbird fight. Yeah, but Amazing Toaster has all eight um, heart containers. And, yeah, uh, the Countess is struggling a little bit, still on uh, four blocks of life. So, yeah, maybe that ref a little more difficult for himself is each hit he takes uh, is doing a little bit of damage. Uh, but yeah, that refusal up, for the heart containers has cost him two lives so far on GP. Well, Amazing Toaster just took a, a trip to the sauna as well. Uh, Fondue D2 still stuck in Death Mountain trying to find the child, and it looked like he was previously where he needed to be but just did not check the correct cave yeah where were the uh, magic containers that i didn't get uh nobody got over oh sorry uh countess got seven so you can ask him uh probably in the palaces because uh, i know he yeah. checked a lot of Amazing palaces poster and fondu d2 are both on six and I only Amazing found the one in now a... into the Dark Link fight, as is the Countess, uh, maybe 10 seconds or so behind. Hey guys, I'm going to step out and let you finish up. I appreciate you. Thanks for putting on the show. No, good job, Schmini. Yeah, well done. Uh, good luck in your uh, next match going forward. Oh, Countess is trying mad mode on his last life, uh, but he has he has the life spell. So, unfortunately for the Countess, uh, no matter the result of this particular fight, uh, not going to uh, pan out for him, as uh, Schmidty already defeating him. Uh, Amazing Toaster finishing in second out of the four runners, but uh, first place in his particular match against Fondue D2 with 1 hour 30 minutes 52 seconds. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, so I guess uh, Fire was linked with Life, so that's a super cheap Life spell. Maybe that's why uh, Countess is deciding to do this. He's cast Life like six times so far, so... <laughs> is that you, Amazing Toaster? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, moving on back to uh, the commentary for uh, the race. Oh, we gotta, we gotta talk to Amazing Toaster. <laughs> But he, he just said it wasn't Amazing Toaster. Yeah, that's true. If there's anyone we can believe is not Amazing Toaster, it's Amazing Toaster. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, what do you think about that race, Mr. AT? Uh, that was a stupid seed. Um, uh, you enlighten us. Just just that one that one town that had Reflect locked away behind... Not the cave I thought it was. Yeah. Um, what was that, uh, Darunia? The, I, we were hearing yeah, from Schmitty. Yeah, that, because you needed Reflect out of that town. And I'm glad I went to that, um, that cave up above it, too, because, um, um, Boots were there, and that kind of shaved a little bit of time off of going through four and getting up to GP. Yeah, that's true. Uh, it was on that little peninsula, and you could just walk across the coast on the left. So that's yeah. cool. Yeah. If you don't mind my interdiction, uh, the Countess finished uh, in third place out of the four runner race, uh, official time of one hour, 32 minutes, 40 seconds. Yeah. So he should be uh, joining us shortly. Yeah, totally. Get your DJs in, in chat for both these guys if you haven't already. Um, so. Uh, Actually, for a short period of time, it seemed like Fontu D2 might have uh, had a slight lead on you, Amazing Toaster, but you managed to pull it back. I think uh, the big difference, uh, the, the 
the difference that you know was for sure was um, the fact that uh, Fonte D2 did not pick up the uh, the child in in uh, Death Mountain. Death Mountain, yeah. Oh, yeah, I was in there, so I was going to look and see if I could find uh, the the cave, and I just barely made it to that kid, too. Yeah, unfortunately uh, for Fondue D2, it was right below where Spectacle Rock was, a little to the right, uh, and that was the cave he needed, and it looks like uh, he's gone back into Death Mountain to look for it, and it seems to, unfortunately, have eluded him. Did I not check that? It's right next to Spectacle Rock. Yeah, it's right uh, below and to the right of where Spectacle Rock was. Uh, oh, man. <laughs> and yeah, it was in the same, it was in the same segment right now Death in the chat as well. So I yeah, think, I think uh, um, one thing is that when I hit the raft early on, I up right away, and I don't think that I checked all the caves. And the other big mistake I made is that um, I just did a bad job of canvassing the east. So I came to the conclusion that, well, maybe Darunia's boots block, because I couldn't find it. And I started to dig items, and that's where I really last time and I, I decided to go to P4 to dig the item even though I have the hint that that was a P today. And then I went to P6 to dig the item and then I went back to the east and I, I knew that I was like hurt of time bad by that point. Yeah, you did actually have a, a, a lead on um, Amazing Toaster. Uh, not a huge lead but but you did have a lead uh, in the beginning of the race. Um, so that so that was pretty cool. Uh, so it was nice to have that back and forth. Um, you know, it, it's nice when it's a nice close race like that. Um, and you'll be uh, entertained to know that Schmitty actually he was the first one to go into Death Mountain. He got the uh, the raft and he up and aid out of there immediately and did not check the cave immediately below <laughs> Spectral Rock. So he had to double back later on. Yeah, and here I am back in Death Mountain finally, and I'm like, I must have taken almost every single cave. Because I have almost every single cave crossed off on my list. And I, I must just not have checked out one cave entrance. Yeah, it's always the only item you can <laughs> find that that turns out to be the one that ruins mm -hmm. your day, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's too bad that after I got the child hidden, I didn't go in, because I knew that that cave entrance was the remaining item cave because of like process of elimination. And I just, as soon as I got the child hidden, I updated again right away. And that was just a factor of, I feel like I've lost too much time. I just need to go get the child. So I, knew it, I knew it wasn't a required item in that cave. Well, unfortunately, the child was required because of uh, the child getting off Reflect. But the cave above the Rudy, that's so, oh, you know, yeah. I said that's where the boots are. And as soon as I got the child in, I obeyed. Mm -hmm. Rather than check that cave, got the boots and, you know, possibly made a faster death mom. Yeah, that, that's certainly possible. Uh, so the Countess and Amazing Toaster... Um, you know, uh, you guys also had a, a really good uh, GP. Countess, we haven't heard much from you, so what, what was your take on the race so far? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh I think we might have lost him, but... Uh... He's in the room. I, we just can't hear him. Yeah, I think, uh, you know... There, that fixed it. That looks like it fixed it. Yeah, there we yeah, go. Yeah, it. had the wrong mic selected. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, I just got bad randomizer luck. I think I got. I was playing really well. Um, the only super sketchy decisions I made were skipping the candle in the heart containers, but that was just to protest the flags. Yeah. Um, 
I got sent to losers right away, and I was really hoping I'd make it to the finals flags because I just hated the Swiss flags and the bracket flags. I did not want to play with random drops anymore. So I decided I was going to skip hearts and the candle in this uh, seed if I ran into them. Random random drops in this particular seat was pretty close to vanilla, wasn't it? There was I a didn't fifty. I find barely any random drops, but I wasn't killing very many enemies. But I think I saw like one pee bag that I passed oh. up. Uh, but I almost had nothing drop anything. It must have been like a slow counter or something. I think so. The, the drop. I know I never saw a magic. Light. Yeah, <laughs> the drops seemed very vanilla. I saw a lot of fifty point pee bags. And then I saw 200 point key bags from the large drop group. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I like the random drops, especially, you know, with the fact that it can add keys in there. And that really changes, you know, how you play the game. But it's certainly not for everyone. Um, and, you know, yeah, everyone's got their favorite flag sets. Yeah, I've just, I think that I'm pretty good at combat, especially at low levels. And the 500 point bags take that away completely. It makes people who are not good at the early game on a more even playing field with me. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, fortunately, this this match didn't have that going, at least. Yeah. But again, I would have had to win this match and then four more to get past the drop flag. And I just wasn't feeling like I was going to do that, especially since two weeks from now, uh, like if Schmitty wins his next race, he has to play the loser of RCS versus Unos. Oh. And I've played both of them already. It's not an easy match. No, I don't think uh, I don't think most people would expect it <laughs> expect it to be easy. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, they're beatable. Uh, you just have to uh, get RCS on a bad day, and you got to get uh, Yunos really interested in something, like something that happens in the game, and he'll just spend like the next you know thirty minutes investigating it instead of actually racing. <laughs> That's how you beat Yunos. Yeah, the the. But that's only the the first uh, step of this uh, valley of death. If uh, we want to use the uh... <laughs> yeah, let's use it. The next match after that would be you know Thurwolf, Buzz Thunder, or Melee Wizard. So you know whoever ends up making it out of that would be the next opponent. So you're looking at you know Unos. Well, let, let's say, you know, Yunos and Rose City Saint. Rose City Saint's the number one seed, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Uh, <laughs> you know, Yunos falls down into the loser's bracket. Then you have Thurwolf or Buzz Thunder. Potentially Melee Wizard, too. Uh, upset's definitely a thing in this bracket. But, uh, you know, after that, then you get the potential of Lightning, Jay Coper, or Trails, somebody's going to have to fall down into the loser's bracket out of that group. And at that point, <laughs> after you get through that murderer's row, then you're finally into the loser's uh, round six, which is the finalist flag, uh, because it would be the... Uh, loser side finals so that's a bit of a treacherous path to put it bluntly oh yeah certainly uh not in any way shape or form an easy easy path so all right where do we want to go with this uh fondue d2 seems to have uh muted out uh, amazing. Do you have anything left to say, Fondue? Jump in there. Help us out a little bit. What, uh... Well, um, you know, what I was glad to play the tournament. You know, aside from know. the child, was there anything else that really stuck out to you and you kind of went, alright, well, this was either really good or really not so good about this particular seed? I, I just got turned around a lot on the Eastern continent. For some reason, I couldn't quite figure it out that there was a path through cave needed, but I wasn't just hitting the right entry for the path through cave. Yeah, that can be pretty tough. Uh, and I, I, I spent a lot of time canvassing. Yeah, 
and I mean, uh, you guys have all done a good job to make it make it this far, as it as it is. Um, you know, these seats these seeds are going to happen, and uh, I'm sure we're going to have more very interesting seeds in the future. Uh, hopefully, we get some uh, pass through Death Mountains into uh, a cove that you need boots to get through to get to the, <laughs> the raft spot. That's what I always hope for. How about no? No, no, you, you, aw. Doesn't it sound fun? Just a little. I would love to see that level of trolling. Uh, I, I, I'm doing the reverse. I usually roll myself uh, trolley stuff for practice and get something easy for a race. And then this week I rolled easy stuff for practice and got trolley race seeds the last couple of weeks. Well, it's, uh, it's certainly been a pleasure for you guys to... Uh, I mean, for us to commentate on you guys' race, uh, it was it was a good race all around. We had a lot of back and forth. Um, I, I think that's that's probably about it for tonight. Uh, anyone uh, got any last uh, thoughts on, on this? Uh, well, just that I'm kind of glad to have time to stream other games again. <laughs> this is seventh week of the tournament, so I'm kind of fine checking out at this point. Yeah, that's a to- long tournament. And you're going back to the uh, Dragon Warrior Randomizer uh, tournament? Me? No, I'm not in that. I'll probably be doing Dragon Warrior for RTAs. Cool. If I can oh, find well. my cart. I lost it when I moved. Good luck with that. But, uh... Yeah, Did anyone it? else got anything else going on? Uh, any other races? I want to mention, because I know you barely ever do it. There were two trackers for this race. I'm horrible uh, at that. Dompe and Lightning, who uh, helped us out behind the scenes, and it would be a crime to not mention them at least and give them the props they deserve for getting us through that. And uh, especially with four runners in the race trying to keep up with, oh, does you know, does this runner have this? Does that runner have that? Uh, you know especially when the inventory screen opens for that little split section you, you either catch it and you know it's happening or you don't but uh you know at that point i definitely want to say uh thank you to the trackers yeah and i will uh turn myself over to the authorities um for failing to mention the trackers for any races um I, I apologize for, for all that, but in in my defense, um, this time I'm gonna say thank you for Norinato for uh, for being the restreamer. That's that's you, right, Nori? Yes. Yeah. Yep. I was just waiting for my, my moment. Um, I also want to mention that we have two more races coming up tomorrow: um, Buzz Th- Thunder versus Melee Wizard and. At 1.30 p.m. Eastern, 17.30 UTC, and at 8 p.m. Eastern, midnight UTC, we have Jay Coper versus Lightning, who was one of our trackers tonight, along with Dompe. And I also want to um, thank Nightcrawler and Frico for doing commentary today. Thank you so much. And also, um, thanks and um, congratulations to to all the runners tonight, especially for... um, agreeing to do this um, forerunner match so um, that we could all get them on restream. So make sure to give them all a follow, please. And uh, I guess that's it for me. Anything else from anyone? I'm good. Okay, guess we yeah, will. I think that Lightning vs. Jay Coper match definitely one to uh, look at. Uh, it will be a, uh, I guess not entirely a quarterfinal match, but... Uh, the winner will meet Trails in the quarterfinals. Yeah, I believe it's uh, winner's bracket round three. Yes. Yeah, that is a round three match. Uh, when you get to round four, it will be the quarterfinals. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and Buzz Thunder versus Melee Wizard is loser's bracket round two. Correct. And the unfortunate uh, prize of winning that race is a date with Thurwolf. Oh... 
So that that is uh, part of that uh, very difficult section of the losers bracket where you know you could see the number three or number four seed, if not both, all falling before uh, you know they get back into uh, the fourth round of the losers side. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, very treacherous part of the bracket going forward, and it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Absolutely. Well, I guess uh, ready to call it a night, everyone? Oh, yep. Okay. I think, um, thanks everyone for joining us tonight. Um, hope to catch you again soon. Okay, take care. Have a good night. Day, morning, evening, wherever you are. Bye. Nice. Have a good night, everybody. <laughs>